summer started, it's it's beautiful here. I'm back at Portsmere. Um, just a little get back into our bodies um, practice. So come to cross legs, rest the hands, release the shoulders, and sit deep into the into the buttock bones. But the buttock bones should feel like they're they're lifting up. So from the buttock bones, allow yourself to lift up. So you feel that there's an evenness on the spine. Relax the shoulders. Gently close the eyes. Just sit quietly, sit still. Observe the inner body. Longer, slower breaths just to bring yourself into a state of stillness before we start to move. Notice how the breath is easy, face is quiet, mind is a little quieter, let it settle. Let the mind observe the breath and observe a softness, a sense of ease within the body. eyes are closed you can open your eyes now and then you're going to come into Adho Mukha Vedasana so we'll be just sitting upon the heels and just let the pelvis release down onto the heels so there's a nice softness across the lower back hands onto the knees and then just walk the hands forwards Keep that sense of connection of the buttocks onto the heels and then let yourself go down let the body just release down and release the head down. Feel that there's a deep crease in the hips and the body is going down over the thighs. The armpits are nice and open. And just observe, take your awareness into the crease of the hips. Relax the head, relax the eyes. Look forward, come up into Chaturangasana. So you're on your hands and your knees. Take the feet hip distance apart. Levelize your knees. And then from here, press, let the weight of the body press down into the hands. So the hands feel like the pressure is going straight down. Now lengthen your toes by tucking the toes under. And then just stretching the skin underneath the toes back. So the toes feel nice and long and lengthening away from the knees. The balls of the feet lengthening away from the knees. Lengthen through the heels and now lift your buttocks up high. Up as high as they will go. Now be aware that crease of the buttocks. Take the crease of the buttocks, what am I talking about? The crease of the hips. Take the crease of the hips up, 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 up. Now maintain that sense of awareness of that space and let the heels, just let them, don't force them down, but just let them drop down, keeping the toes, the underneath of the toes, nice and long there. Let the breath come in towards the, the body and keep the armpits open and keep the underneath of the arms secure. And then exhale, come down onto the knees, stretch the feet back and come on to rest down into your Adam of Kavirasana. Okay, so when you're doing your donkey down, I want you to think today about this underneath portion of the toes here. All right, so this, this little bit here. So you want to make, make a nice spread. I don't know if I move my foot there. Across the sole of the foot, yeah? and also through and underneath the feet. Okay, because often the toes want to grip. So we want to make them nice and spread, happy toes. Okay, nice wide toes. So let's 
take the feet and just see if you can, if you stretch that foot along the mat just a couple of times, just stroke the toes along the mat. Notice if you want to favour the big toe side or the little toe side, try and favour the whole of the foot so the whole of the foot goes straight back. Make, make yourself aware that underneath of the foot skip, you can do the other side because it's really very pleasant. So slide it, nice sliding action there. Okay, and now tuck the toes under for your Chaturangasana. Hands so the weight is going down. Keep those little helium balloons underneath your armpits so they're making your armpits feel nice and hollow. Keep the support underneath the arms. Lift the crease of the top of the thigh up. Up, 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 up. And then let those heels just descend down. Keeping the toes nice and long. Don't let the toes grip. Now you should feel like you've got nice, long feeling feet. Opening up through the backs of the legs. And it should also feel like you're really taking the spine up. There's a nice length there. And then when you're ready, you can walk the hands back towards Uttanasana. So if you need to bend the knees, bend the knees. But ideally, don't let the toes grip. Come into your Uttanasana now. Walk yourself back, Uttanasana forward bend. Toes along. Yeah, let the body release down. You can let the hands be on the floor or you can hold the elbows. Relax the tissues at the back of the neck. Abdomen is soft. Gaze is quiet. Change your clasp of the elbows. Let the body release down again. Look forwards, walk your hands back into your dog head down and keep the toes long and walk yourself back into the dog head down. Slowly, slowly. Slow is the new fast. Imagine that you're, you're in a slow motion picture. Now make the armpits hollow. Notice which side of the foot wants to lift. So take the sides of the foot down. For me, it's my baby toes on both sides, so I've got to just keep that top where the foot meets the toe. I'm keeping that nice and broad, and I'm taking the gripping out of the fronts of my ankles. So keep the fronts of the ankles soft, shins moving back. From here, lengthen from the sacrum down, then come forwards, come onto your knees. Nice long body here, Chaturangasana. If you need to put padding underneath your knees, put padding underneath the knees. Otherwise, press the ankles down. Armpits open them. Arms strong. Ankles open, toes spread, back of the neck long. Okay, feel that there's a nice length through the front of the face of the spine. And then exhale, Adha Mukha Virasana. So big toes together, let the body soften down, abdomen soft, breath is soft, release the head down. Now feel how the lower back feels nice and wide and broad. Okay, and we've had sort of a, lots of release through here. So I now want you to lie on your tummy, so come forwards. If you need to put a blanket down, put a blanket down, but otherwise just lie on your tummy. Now as you lie down, yeah, make sure the lower back is comfortable. Again, if you need to adjust yourself or put some padding somewhere, then do that. Otherwise, take the abdominal flesh and just pull it forwards just a little, and you'll notice how the tailbone moves down. Now currently, if you've got your big toes touching, your feet will be flopping out to the side. If you're doing nothing with the legs, observe the buttocks, yeah? Observe how they're soft and they're moving away from the sacral area. Make sure that's comfortable. 
And then what I want you to do is I want you to keep the buttocks wide. Bring the hands underneath your head, one hand on top of the other and rest your head down. Now you may need to look up at the screen. So you might want to look up at the screen because I'm going to ask you just to tuck one leg. I've chosen my right leg. Make as good connection as possible through the underneath of the arm foot and then stretch that heel away. Opening up the back of the knee. Opening through into the heel. And then to get the hip flexors, the front of the hips to open more, you contract the buttock, but you don't clench. So you're, there's all of the buttock muscles are working here. And then just release the knee down, lengthen the foot away, and just observe the left and the right leg now. That right leg should feel super long. So let's make the left leg follow suit. Tuck the toes under, get that really nice connection through the front, the underneath of the toes, and then stretch into the heel. You can again keep the buttocks nice and smiley and contract the buttock muscles. Opening up the back of the knee and stretching the calf into the heel. Breathe. Relax the head, relax the eyes, release the shoulders. And then release the leg down. Now you've got two long legs. And being next to the beach like this, I feel a bit like a mermaid. So now, mermaids, bring your mermaid tail together. So just allow the legs to lengthen, inner thighs to lengthen. Lengthen through the front of the body so you feel really long. So now we've got broad, smiley buttocks. So the scales of your tail are spreading out from the midline. Outer thighs are squeezing in. Rest the head down. And now you're going to tuck both toes under, or both feet under, so all the toe skin feels long underneath. Stretch back through the heels. Notice how the tailbone has, or the pubic area is pressed into the floor a little more. Stretch the heels, make sure it's comfortable through the lower back. Abdomen's wide and the breath is easy. Eyes are quiet, face is quiet. And then release. So when you, when you do this, you want the tailbone to feel like it's going towards the heels. So, the, so that the lower back feels like it's, it's long. It's not compressed at that lumbar sacral area there. It's not very comfortable. If, if that happens, you feel a pinching in that space. You need to think very much about the length. So you don't even, you can just work at taking the tailbone down and you'll notice how the buttocks want to contract. That's fine. You'll also notice how you get a nice length through the fronts of the hips here. That's what we want. Okay, so now you're going to tuck the toes under. If you want to look at the screen, I'll just do a quick demonstration. Toes are tucked under, heels are stretched away. You take one leg and you keep it the same length, but it's like you're trying to stretch that leg out of the hip. And you'll feel how the body wants to lengthen also away from the hips. It's moving nice and long. Okay, so let's do, do it together. Toes tucked under, have the feet apart just a little. Legs nice and long. Let's do the left leg first, just to shake it up a little bit. Take the left leg, stretch that left leg away. Keeping that leg low, but making it feel as long as possible. And then release, toes tucked under, stretch them away. And now let's do the right leg. So lengthen, open up the backs of the knees. Abdomen soft and broad. Right leg, move it away. Shoulders soft, eyes quiet and then release. Stretch the heels away, connect into the tailbone. So you feel like the sacrum is feeling nice and held comfortably. So when it's held all around the, the hip area, there's no discomfort there. And then release. Let the feet flop out to the side. Breathe out, let it go. Now you're going to change the hands and do the same again. Toes under, 
stretch away. Do your right leg, point the toes. See, back to normal pattern, Lucy Aldridge. Left leg, see if it can join. Both legs are now stretched away. Nice long legs. Keeping the lower back comfortably long, so you might want to just drop those toes down just a little bit more. Doesn't matter even if the toes reach the floor. You can put the toes to the floor and make the legs feel even longer. See if you can make the spine feel long. And then exhale, release. And then we're going to do Shalabhasana. So Shalabhasana, if you just place your hands and just lift the body forwards a little bit like you're, like you're a seal moving along the beach. Yeah, do I? Arf, arf. Okay, you've got that seal action. Now you've got this nice length through the front of the body and through the back of the body. But keep the breadth breath as well. And I want you just to, you're going to place the hands just by the chest and roll those shoulders back. Keep the head looking down so you're not too caught up in the body. Um, sorry, caught up in the head. You're in the body. Roll the shoulders back. And that should feel like the body is long and there's no, you don't want any compression in this area. Remember, the tailbone moves down. And then for Shalabhasana, the arms come straight back. If you're just watching here, watch one more time, hands down, roll the shoulders back. You've got a nice lift of the chest, the face is down so the eyes are quiet. Take the arms back, long legs, and then you can lift the feet off the floor. Not too high because we're going for length. And then you can raise the face and look forward. Shalabhasana. And then release the legs, release the hands down. Check that everything feels okay. So for me, I've got to watch this right side. It has a tendency to grip, so I'm just going to stretch that left, the right leg away, making sure this is nice and broad and wide. Inner thigh moves up. Get the left leg to mat. So everything's happy there. Rest the head down. Hands come back by the sides of the body. So we're going to go into it classically. Connect onto the sensation between the legs, make them long. With an exhale, you're going to raise the hands and raise the feet at the same time and raise the face. So inhale, exhale, raise the legs, raise the hands, raise the face, look forward, be long. Breathe. Arms face, face, place, uh, face the ceiling or the sky. Legs feel long, and then exhale, come down. So my feet hardly lifted off the ground at all today. There's very, very low shalabhasana. Keep the legs feeling straight. Let's do one more. Roll the shoulders back, lift the legs, raise the body up. If you can go a little higher now, go a little higher. And then exhale, come down. And then roll over onto your backs. Onto your back. It's like I was teaching loads of you. Have the legs bent. And let's just clasp the elbows and draw the elbows away from the navel so you feel like you're nice and long on the back of the body the abdomen's broad and soft breathe lower the arms down change the clasp for the elbows again arms over the head so we're creating length and lower the arms down Clasp the elbows, take the shoulder blades deep into the back, press down into the feet. Now as you press down into the feet, notice how the pelvis responds. It lengthens. There should, it should feel like the, the tailbone just tucked through towards the knees a little bit more. Keep the breath smooth. With an exhale, press down into the feet and just lift the pelvis a few inches off the floor. Feel the feet are well connected, and then see if you can lift a little higher. 
but feel that the legs are doing the work. Feel that the chest is now able to move a little towards the face, so the arms respond by pressing down also. And then exhale, come down. We've lifted the pelvis just five or six inches off the floor, and we've felt that we've given our spine lots of length. Do it again, up to the height that you made, that you made last time. And then just observe the feet, press into the arms and lift again. Lift a little more, so we're coming into the bridge pose. And then come down. Those of you that want to walk the feet in a little bit more to make a deeper arch, if your knees allow, if the back allows, walk those feet in. Make good contact with the soles of the feet. Press down, press down with the arms. Come up through the pelvis, spine long, chest moving towards the face. Take your left leg, draw it in towards the chest. Let the back of the body feel nice and long there, release through the lower back. Pop the foot down. Second side. Right leg. And release. Take the feet apart, squeeze the knees in towards each other. You should feel like the hips are just wanting to move in towards each other. Interlace the fingers. Draw the arms over the head. Turn the palms down, change the interlace, or have the hands just stretching over the head. Or holding the elbows one more time. Lower the arms down. Bend both knees over the chest, cuddle them in. You can rock from side to side or lie still, whichever feels most beneficial for you. Slide the hands over onto the tops of the knees. Let the knees rest back into the fingers. So if you take a look, my knees are away from my body and I'm just putting a little bit of pressure in from my knees into my fingers. A little bit of traction there on the hips around the lower spine. And then gently release the legs down. Take some breaths. So rest your hands on the abdomen. Take some breaths into the abdomen. Feel how the body's releasing. Quietly slide those legs away. If it's comfortable to remain with the legs nice and long, stay there. Rest the hands either side of the body. Relax the eyes and release the tongue. If the lower back feels tight, then bend up the legs and rest with the knees flopping in towards each other. And let yourself take a gentle shavasana observing the release of all the tissues, allowing any sensation to let go, any tightness, any grips, let go, any thoughts, let them drift in and out on the breath, discarding any unwanted tension, any unwanted negative thoughts. Letting go completely. Allow a sense of deep stillness. 
to wash over the body. Wash into the body. Until a complete sense of calm settles in. Feel that you are still enjoying the relaxation, then stay there. I just the bird song. Um, I have been away for a while. Um, Emily, thank you so much for your email. Um, welcome back to summer. Welcome back to your body. Every morning the sun comes up, we get a new day. And so we need to appreciate the newness of each and every day. That's my end thought. Thank you so much for, for staying with the, the practice. If you're still in your Shavasana, please stay, enjoy. Relaxation is totally, totally underrated. We need to practice more. I'll leave you with the sound of the sea, the sound of the birds. When you get up, get up carefully, get up quietly. Thank you.